Hi students. So uh, let us start from where we left yesterday. Our goal was simulating non-homogeneous Poisson process. We have seen one method which is listed here and where we have split the entire time interval into k distinct sub-intervals which form partition of a sample of the time zone and then we simulated based on the upper bounds involved. So this was essentially based on hazard rate function method. Now we can actually do another thing the way we did in a homogeneous Poisson, uh, Poisson process case is we, we, we can actually try to simulate the continuous distributions for arrival times. For this, uh, we need to understand the peculiarities of a non-homogeneous Poisson process. So let us first list few of them. When we were dealing with homogeneous Poisson process, we already know from Campbell's theorem that given nt is equal to n, the event times are nothing but order statistics of uniform random variables, where uniform random variables are assumed to follow uniform distribution in the interval 0 to t. I want to use this fact as in the previous video I have shown that how from homogeneous Poisson process a non-homogeneous Poisson process can arrive. So let us link that fact in the next uh, iteration that is these events if I have a homogeneous Poisson process and the events are chosen with some probability independent of some everything else that probability here is given by lambda t by lambda okay. then it gives rise to a non-homogeneous Poisson process. So I assume such a thing holds true. Then I want to understand what is a conditional distribution of arrival times. What is the arrival time? It can also be seen as a waiting time. Waiting time for an event to happen or waiting time for k events to happen. So that kind of. So now I want to understand how this waiting time can be derived. Given in the underlying homogeneous Poisson process, some events have already happened. So I'm looking at a non-homogeneous version of that Poisson process. So if I use this, then you can see that given the number of events, counted events, which I already know, the time of the counted events I want to simulate or I need to know the time of the counted events. Eventually these times will be random variables. So I need to understand the distribution of that particular random variable that is given by fs. Now let, uh, let me uh, show you some computation uh, for this. So here is our definition of a non-homogeneous Poisson process. We already know this process is there and uh, we have also seen how it arises in this particular derivation which I have shown you in the last class. Now let us try to consider a derivation for the arrival time of a Poisson process. Now here, when what we are trying to do is, we are trying to compute something like this, which is Fs. This Fs actually denotes the arrival time of a Poisson distribution. And that arrival time, Fs is a CDF of that distribution. And that Fs is equal to probability of time less than or equal to S, given that, the event has been counted okay. and remember the underlying setup I had something like nt is equal to n and I had some other random variable let us say rt that is the number of registered events in 0 to t that I know in this is say k let us say rt is equal to k now I want to find that for these k events what is the time and is the time less than or equal to s or not now this is a conditional probability density so i can rewrite this as the joint upon the marginal so probability of time less than or equal to s given that the event is counted upon the probability of all counted events okay. so let us split this into two probabilities this is one and this is another one. So probability that time is less than or equal to s and it is counted can be figured out 
once we have a complete understanding of this probability to understand this let us say let us elaborate this so probability of counted means the event is counted in the interval 0 to t this is what it means it's capital r t okay so now the event is counted in 0 to t now for the event to be counted what is the hazard rate of this event this is lambda x hazard rate function that is lambda x and in the interval 0 to t because the underlying process is a poisson process homogeneous poisson process this was shown to be uniform on 0 to t okay now so i will use both these facts so the underlying poisson process has a density 1 by t and this particular thing as a hazard rate lambda t so how many events can happen in the interval 0 to t on an average integral 0 to t lambda x dx events can happen and because the underlying distribution is uniform i have to divide it by t so i get this formulation so this is the formulation that i got for probability of counted in a similar manner we can understand this is a joint distribution so this won't change probability of counted only thing is integral will cease to exist beyond s so naturally this will be the expression for probability of time less than or equal to s and counted in 0 to t so together we can combine this and rewrite it as fs equal to probability of time less than or equal to s given counted is that 1 by t in the numerator and denominator will cancel each other is integral 0 to s lambda x dx and integral 0 to t lambda x dx so in particular according to our notation it is lambda s by lambda t where lambda s is nothing but integral over 0 to s lambda x dx this we have already defined in the last part so in particular i know the event time distribution so the time at which the event happens the cdf of that is given by this expression hence the pdf if you want to compute remember this is a scaling constant so nothing will change here so if you want to compute the pdf you need to take the derivative of the numerator that will give me lambda s small lambda s upon lambda t as the pdf of this particular distribution okay. so now i have the arrival distribution and i know the how, uh, the density of the arrival distribution so let us go back slides uh, and see that we got the same expression over here integral over 0 to s lambda s ds lambda x dx and integral over 0 to t lambda x dx that is given n events of non homogeneous poisson process by time t the event the event times of these poisson uh, processes of this poisson process has a density function fs which is lambda s by lambda t i have already defined what is the meaning of capital lambda now with this understanding the question is can we simulate a poisson process of course yes so what can be the algorithm so initially we need to understand given a non homogeneous poisson process i need to simulate a non homogeneous poisson process at if i want to simulate a non homogeneous poisson process i will simulate the marginal distribution of a non homogeneous poisson process at n of capital t this is related to non homogeneous so it will have a distribution poisson with this lambda t poisson with this lambda t so i can simulate such process that means given that whenever you simulate you get a realization given though that realization has happened that means those many poisson events have happened i need to simulate using this density those many random variables that's all which is very similar to what we were doing for uniform random variables remember uh, what we were doing for uh, uniform random variables or a homogeneous poisson process we first simulated nt is equal to n 
then simulated n uniform random variables and then arranged them in order and then multiplied them with t so the process is very similar and you can easily see that it will follow in this manner also so let us try to give the algorithm so algorithm is very simple first you identify till what time point you need to simulate so that is time point capital t once the time point is identified i need to know the simulation of a poisson random variable with rate lambda t that is what is given here so you simulate this once the value of this nt is known to you that is the value those many events you need to simulate so how will you simulate you you know the pdf of this process so using this value of nt simulate this nt event times of pdf arrange them in order and those are the uh, those are the event times of poisson process that's all so let us demonstrate let me demonstrate this with an example let us say my uh, process has rate lambda s equal hazard rate which is uh, lambda s is equal to cs so if i want to use this algorithm first i will fix t i will simulate a poisson process with i will simulate a poisson random variable to simulate a poisson process poisson random variable with poisson lambda t which you can simulate as if you are simulating a homogeneous poisson process or you can use something which, uh, which is like inverse function technique or whatever way you want to simulate you can simulate this process where this lambda t is nothing but integral of this small lambda s which is ct square by t so using this rate you simulate a poisson random variable once you have simulated a poisson random variable take that number you know for this lambda so cs upon lambda t that will give me the density so c is getting cancelled so s upon uh, 2s upon t square this is the cdf power 0 to t yes so that will give me this particular random variable s square upon t so maybe some scaling mistake is there so it's t square by 2 and uh, lambda s is cs so it should be the cdf uh, oh okay they have given the cdf so here the cdf is simply s square by 2 uh, into c upon ct square by 2 so cc getting cancelled by 2 c by 2 is getting cancelled therefore the cdf is s square by t square now you can use inverse transform and it is on the positive side and this is cdf so it is monotone so you can use whichever method you choose inverse transform method or rejection method and simulate this particular random variable nt times which will give you the uh, which will give you the arrival time event times of a poisson distribution of a poisson process which is non homogeneous so one may choose this method sometimes because it is easy to apply provided your this thing is of nice form okay so that's all about uh, this method where we are simulating the event times we are simulating the distribution of event times and simulating a poisson process